Hi, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a, a game review of Outlast. Uh, it's a horror, atmospheric, first person horror game. A single player. Um, it is developer and publisher is Red Barrels and it's uh, usually about £15 on Steam. Uh, basically you're an investigative journalist, Miles Upshaw, and you're exploring Mount Massive Asylum to survive long enough to discover its terrible secret. Um, and the basics is that some of it says that the um, the setting and characters are inspired by real asylums and case of criminal insanity. So, <coughs> I've played the full game, um, not on the insane mode, I just played it on normal mode, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it's a very good game. Uh, if if you like horror games, games that kind of like um, grab you and shock you or scare the crap out of you, then Outlast is the game for you. If you're into other kind of zombie games that you just shoot loads of people and you like that, you're not going to like this if you only like the shooting part, because there is no shooting, that, well, apart from a camcorder. Um, but there is no, there is no shooting. Um, I, I kind of, I, I do like it. Uh, I'll give my good points and bad points in a minute. Uh, I don't think there's many bad points. Um, so, uh, you start off from the get-go and you're kind of like uh, getting used to how the keys work, which I think is good. Um, you have a camcorder that you have to use a battery for, but you don't have to... <laughs> You can use the battery. It's, it's it's funny when the battery life goes. It's basically just for the um, uh, for the for the night vision. If your night vision battery dies, you can still use your camcorder, but without the night vision, obviously it's pointless without it uh, because most of it's in the dark. So you need it to sort of navigate yourself around. Um, there is a very good story. Um, I like some of the parts where you walk through some blood and you look down and there's your footprints, which I thought is quite qu quirky. Um, <laughs> there's annoying bits, I suppose, when you're trying to find something and you... I run around the same bit about like ten times because I couldn't figure the way out. Like, I've, I've been mad at where the hell is it? I, d I, I couldn't figure out the way out, even though I literally just walked past it about like probably about five or six times as people probably watched it and going, oh, you've just walked past it. But I, when you're basically being chased by this creature just running around, you just run because you don't know where you're going. Um, there's uh, some bits where you have to hide underneath beds and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a good game, and and obviously there's that weird doctor character who's um, does something terrifying with his his uh, little scissors or something. Um, there's a preacher; he's in there. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good it's a good game, and if if you do want to have your heart sort of racing. Um, there was a point where I think I just got messing around the volume and getting the volume setting right quite close to the beginning of the game and I said, sort of, right, okay, I've got the volumes right I'm off to play it now so I went to do a bit more and something happened and it just scared the crap out of me because it wasn't like scary as in gory it was scary because it just sort of shocked me you know, it, it just it was just something that happened um, but yeah, it, the whole the whole game is, is good um, Say there is a storyline. It's a good storyline, and um, recommend it. Definitely recommend it. Uh, so I have a full uh, playlist of the whole game. So if you want to watch that, please do. I've linked it in the video. Uh, it's one of the you know hover over it and says what next to watch or, or suggested to watch. Can't remember what you call them now. Uh, the little line in the top right hand corner. So uh, yes recommending as I say and um, I do remember the bit where there was the water and because I've played before Amnesia which is another kind of horror game where you don't have anything to shoot with uh, I was afraid of the water in that one and that then carried over to this plastic game so yeah like I say very well worth it very enjoyable very scary but very good uh, you can watch any more on my channel of other playlists that I've got. I've got other kind of like I've got Amnesia, I've got Dementium, well that, that's got shooting in it I suppose. Well, I don't suppose it does. Um, and other videos that you may or may not enjoy. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. 
uh, give me your thumbs up and maybe a comment box below maybe sort of say if you've played this game before uh, if you want any games you recommend for me to play I can easily play them based on price and you know availability and all that uh, okay thank you for watching and goodbye